So today we're going to provide an overview of how you would create a new website from scratch, including uh, having a new domain name and uh, finding a host. We'll cover some of these topics in more detail later on, but today I just want to provide a brief overview of the whole process. So the first thing to do is to uh, uh, decide on a domain name, or one of the three first things to do is to decide on a domain name. And to do that, you'll need to go to one of the uh, uh, places where you can register for a domain name. Uh, just a quick note about choosing where to uh, host your website or where to buy your domain name. It's probably best, if you're not, especially if you're not familiar with the company, to write them a brief email first. Uh, uh, to ask them some questions about the uh, about their company, about their policies, about the product that you're trying to uh, buy. For example, uh, for domain names, you might ask them uh, um, uh, how do you cancel the plan, for example, if it's not already listed in their help section, or any other question. This is just so that you get an idea of, of how they respond to your questions. And if they don't even respond at the beginning, then it's probably not even a good idea to buy from them at all. So let's uh, go to Google and search for where we can buy for uh, buy some domains, for example. Um, let's make this font size a bit larger. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, places where you can buy it. Um, perhaps we can go to, I think Yahoo Yahoo has a pretty good service. So, so Yahoo Domains is a pretty respectable domain company. And for example, we can find any domain you like. If you like cars, for example, let's try typing cars.com. And unfortunately, it's already taken, it's, it says. So let's click on see similar name options. And it gives us a few other options. Sometimes the .net, .org, or .info names are not taken, so you might want to try those out. And although you have to be careful sometimes um, to check whether the uh, do domain is copyrighted, that type of name has a, has trademark, is a trademark or copyrighted or has uh, any other, um, uh, uh, like that name has been, is not available for people to use. You, uh, if, you, if you do choose a, a different domain that's available. Usually, it would either be all not available, or sometimes a few of them would be available, and usually it's okay, but uh, just to be safe, I usually like to not choose domains that have uh, people have already used before. So, rides car looks okay, so let's continue then. So, yeah, so then you can continue and choose what type of uh, dom uh, and, and choose the domain that you would like to buy and continue on with the buying process. The uh, GoDaddy especially, the Go GoDaddy uh, service uh, is also provides a lot of domain names and uh, you can search for them quite easily. And one of the the good uh, advan one of the advantages with the GoDaddy domain name is that, for example, you can use a you can register your domain as a uh, private domain, and then your name or contact information would not appear. There's a lot of other services that offer a similar type of a private uh, type of a private type of service where your name and your email or or address would not be, be appearing. So, for example, in GoDaddy, uh, if we click on register domain, uh, 
uh, for example, it says here private registrations. It says how much they cost. So uh, they're actually, so you would add this price to the price of your domain name, and then this is a per year cost, and then it would show the, um, it would, it would uh, add that to your domain in addition to the cost of the domain itself. Of course, these prices change all the time, so you'll need to check up on what the current price is at the time. Uh, so I'm from Canada, so that's why this says Canadian here. I see. That's what it's for, I believe. And then, um, so next let's uh, go on. So besides choosing a domain name, you also need to find a hosting company. So, for example, you can type hosting or uh, web hosting, and there's, there's tons of services available. I, I like to use a type of hosting called cPanel hosting, web hosting, because, because cPanel web hosting is quite uh, good because it offers a lot of different types of uh, functions in when you use cPanel. So perhaps we can take a look at what cPanel looks like. So, this, there's a lot of different versions of cPanel. Your host would usually give you a, quite a recent uh, uh, edition of cPanel. And, yeah, as you can see from the screenshot, all sorts of automated features for you with cPanel. So, so if you can find a hosting company that uses cPanel web hosting, that would be quite uh, useful. You don't have to, but it's, it's quite convenient to have that. And once you've set up your domain and your uh, hosting plan, you would need to set the name servers on your domain to point to the correct um, name servers of your host, and the and once it's pointed correctly, then you can upload your files onto your host, and you can see the uh, your web page being displayed with your newly uploaded files. We can discuss uh, those in a bit more detail a bit later, but some but just to quick note is that sometimes when changing uh, name servers to different hosts, it does take a little bit of time to, to propagate throughout the internet. So you might not see the change right away. Sometimes it could take up to 48 to 72 hours to propagate. And the other uh, thing I wanted to mention is that it is probably a good idea to have a separate domain provider and a separate web hosting provider in case you want to change either your domain company or your web hosting company. So that is preferable. And how do you upload files? Well, cPanel, for example, once you log into your web host in cPanel, you can upload your files under the fi with file manager. And you can create your website with your favorite uh, HTML uh, editor, such as uh, 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 previously a uh, front page from Microsoft or now they have ex uh, Expression Web. Uh, there's also Dreamweaver from Adobe, as well as uh, some other HTML editors. You can also hand code your HTML documents yourself uh, by just uh, uh, typing up HTML documents, although that t might take a little bit more time. So we'll go into a little bit more detail so of uploading files, changing files, and that type of information in uh, some other. Um, session. So thanks for listening. See you soon, or talk to you soon.